Hey everyone, it's Easy Easy Street Gaming. Welcome back. Doing a little video today in Clash of Clans. Waiting on the update. It's the 17th. Still haven't got it come through yet. Not sure when it's gonna happen. I'm thinking probably next week sometime. So we have a couple of, a couple little inserts in this video from uh, the Reddit. We were on the Reddit today and, and checking out a few things. So we'll go over some of that stuff in between some of these raids. I uh, had the opportunity to do some farming with Little Easy. Just just got him to Town Hall 9. And uh, basically what I did is we upgraded the, the balloons first. So we got to use uh, level 6 balloons. Which that's a huge, that's a huge troop in Town Hall 9. And I uh, just wanted to show everyone what you can do with Town Hall 9. Once you, once you get in there. Because it's kind of intimidating when you first start out. <coughs> And yes, I do know that with level 6 balloons, it's not the same as going in there with all Town Hall 8 troops. And, you, you know, you notice too, it's, I've got the Queen is already at level 8. I That's something that you want to do right away, to get that Queen going right away. I, within a week, I had her at l level 8. I won't mention the gems. <laughs> uh, anyway, some pretty, some pretty heavy duty bases that we attacked, uh, for the most part. And this this first attack is the Lunian. Now I don't have, haven't been able to upgrade the uh, the barracks to get the the lava hounds yet. So we don't have lava hounds. I think I do have one in the, in the clan. I got the clan castle to thirty, so we do have the opportunity to to get lava hounds from the, our clan mates. So which is a good thing, and that's something you want to do right away when you get to town hall nine. You know, when, uh, when you first upgrade, uh, we'll, during this first attack, we'll, we'll go over some things. That, what I think you should do when you first get to Town Hall 9. Uh, we know about the point fives and, and about this engineering problem that, that everyone in Clash knows about. Uh, I'm not going to advocate um, only upgrading your, your offense. But you do want to start off with, all, with your offensive stuff first. You want to make sure that as you're upgrading your base, you want to start off with your camps, you want to start off with your barracks, you want to start off with your clan castle. Uh, you, you want to get your, um, your laboratory up, up, upgraded right away so you can start off with your troops. And you just want to hold off on those defenses for a few minutes. Uh, reason is, is because if you put all of your defenses out there, the second you get into the new town hall level, you're going to be dealing with higher level bases in war and in farming. Now, this is one of the things I thought were pretty cool. I hadn't seen any of these pictures yet. Um, this is, I don't know if that's China or Korea, Japan. It's, it's one of the, uh, you know, they, they seem to get all the, all the update leaks before we do over there. I don't know why. Maybe over there they're leaking stuff from the U.S. <laughs> but we, get, we seem to get all the Chinese stuff uh, here. So, looks like they're opening up these little, uh, I don't know, they look like band-aid packages, but they have all their, their specialized weapons in it. So, pretty cool. Don't know what that means, but uh, I thought it was interesting. Now, this next attack, this is actually uh, a full Town Hall 9. And uh, this is a pretty good raid. This is a Hog Rider attack. Just kind of threw this one in there, too. Um, the reason why I wanted to show this is because... There's been a lot of debate on how effective hog riders are in Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. And I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm here to tell you, hog riders are an elite troop. In Town Hall 9, they are hard to stop. You know, they, they got a buff. They, the giant bombs no longer do 1.5 damage on them. So, in this raid, the reason why I wanted to show this particular raid is this is not a, uh, a well thought out, masterful raid. Basically, you, we, we plowed into the base with the kill squad. We had two golems. And then once they got into the center of the base and everything was shooting in towards the, the core of the base, we literally spammed in at four, 13 or 14 hog riders. Uh, whenever you use hog riders, you want to bring at least, I, I'd say at least two heal spells. I, I know some people can get away with just one and, and have some great timing and everything. But uh, I like to bring at least two, two heal spells. Uh, we brought the hog riders in they kind of just plowed through that whole base from the left side to right now They didn't be, because this was a farm raid and this wasn't like this uh, really planned out attack like you wouldn't war um, They didn't they didn't live through the whole raid and I know that I know that if you if I had sat here and Taken maybe the whole 30 seconds to to look at everything. I, I probably could have done even better than that But just want to show how strong they really are uh, they got through that base on on a couple heal spells, 
and now the now it's just up to the heroes to do the, finish up the re rest of the base. And now I know with with your new Town Hall nines, you know most of you guys aren't going to have the queen yet, or you may have her level one, and you're not you're just not going to have uh, really the the same exact effect with a level one queen as you will, you know, uh, th that queen's 25 or something like that. So I know it's a big difference. And matter of fact, I think I even cut this raid a little short, uh, just going after uh, the the builders huts at the end. So we just got rid of it. <laughs> I thought this was pretty cool. There's all there's tons of uh, of these hype pictures on on the Reddit. The people are getting sick of waiting, I guess. I don't know. All right, so this next attack was we found we found a, a super rush town hall ten. Uh, looks to me like. It's not only rushed, but not active. And and I'll tell you, be careful. Be careful when you see tombstones everywhere. Tombstones are usually a sign that, that that people have been attacking and they haven't reset the base. But a lot of people will leave those tombstones out there to just to, uh, to throw you off. But you can see right there in the center of the base how the Infernal Tower is black. So you know it's not going. You can look at the, at the crossbows. At the expos, and you can see whether or not there's actually elixir loaded up in the actual shaft of them. Uh, if you just do a little close-up look at the expos, you can see. So anyway, this way we we had the earthquake event. So the earthquake spells were 10% the normal cost, so they were super cheap. So we used eight earthquake spell spells. I built seven. I asked for one in the clan castle. We earthquake the entire top of the base. Came in with three Pekka and a bunch of wizards to, to kind of push in behind the Pekka. Then we came in with, and, and I remember these are all these are all Town Hall eight troops. Uh, the Peck is still level three. The the Valkyries are still level two. The Hog Riders level five. Uh, so once we earthquaked and we came in with the Peck and the Wizards, cleaned out the top of the base, and then we just came in right behind them with the Hog Riders, and they just smashed this base, man. I was kind of surprised. Um, this is this is what you can do to rush Town Hall tens, and th and. Th a, this is a great example of why you don't want to go to the next town hall level before you max out your defenses I know that there's, there's so many different opinions and so much debate on what you do how you upgrade what, When do you go to the next town hall level? I'm gonna tell you max out your base before you go to the next town hall level That's that's just uh, that's a nice even way to play uh, Something else we found on reddit now remember. I don't know how true all this stuff is this could be doctored up This could be something from the actual uh, new update that's a, gonna be able to attack your friends. Got some more stuff coming up on that in a few minutes. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I have lost my voice today, which is really you know great. See, I'm recording. <laughs> okay, another another Lunian attack. Now, the reason I the reason I upgraded the balloons first is because I'm gonna use these balloons to raid with. I'm gonna use them in war. These are gonna be my main troops. Uh, we all know the balloons are a super hot troop right now. They're way overpowered uh, because of that first drop and how quick they drop uh, that first bomb. So I may not have the the heroes for a Town Hall Nine. I may not have all the troops for it, but you just bring in those max balloons for Town Hall Nine, and, and now you ha you mo most of your army is good. And just look how many balloons are left. And this is without this is without lava hounds. This is just balloons and minions. And when you first get into Town Hall 9, that's what I would suggest you do. Use the balloons, use the minions. I think I'm using 25 minions in this attack. And so, you know, I'm using four or 500 Dark Elixir or something like that. I don't have haste spells yet. So I had to get a haste spell in the clan castle. And uh, so this is a pretty low impacting attack on the Dark Elixir and we're just able to rack it in this right here This is over a million resources uh, so huge raid Your league level is very important while farming in Town Hall 9 and we'll get into that a little more in a second So I'm not gonna read off everything Everyone that's been keeping up with the update has seen this list this is the what this is what's out on the reddit someone has making this made this big list of everything that's coming up uh, we know that the the boats coming the uh, the according to this it says the boat will give you daily rewards of, of resources and gems okay so just based on that 
I don't know about the validity of, of this whole list. That's why I wanted to put this up there. Uh, that's why I'm not going to read off everything on it. I know there's all kinds of awesome stuff. It's, it's talking about the clan perks. Uh, you know, this is like everyone's wish list. Okay, you're a, a level 12 clan. There's no real clan perks for you. Well, now there is. Uh, they're saying that we can increase the size of our clan. Uh, we're going to be able to donate from the treasury. Uh, now, the, the single player um, challenge mode, you know, that the rumors that that is coming out. So if you want to read over that list, just go back and hit pause and just remember, just take, take it with a grain of salt. I would not trust everything on that list. I don't know who made it, but it's everywhere. It's out there everywhere. So I want to put it in there and I'm, I'm going to say I, I don't believe at least 30% of it. So back to the raids. Now, I know it's a big surprise to see, but here comes another Lunian and we, we did this over and over because of how awesome it is. And, I, you know, it may be re repetitive or maybe redundant to say over and over, but the balloons are just so strong. Uh, this this is not a, a weak base, even though the air defenses, they weren't put in the best place. And now, again, if this was a war attack, all these air defenses on the outside of the base, this is a tactic that people are using because most attackers will enter the base in one spot. They'll plow their way into the core, and now they're going to fight their way out of the core for the for the remainder of the attack so they'll go through one air defense they'll make it to the core and now you have three air defenses all in the outskirts of the base well if you have time to scout the base right what you'll do is you'll put troops in on all four air defenses and take out all, all four air defenses before the raid even starts but now you see because they weren't maxed for town hall nine and the balloons are maxed for town hall nine they just they just plow right over it without even you know we, we put we took out one air defense ahead of time and that was it so, new Town Hall 9s, my suggestion, get the Queen going immediately. Don't stop until she's at least level 5. Uh, once you're, once you're um, able to upgrade your troops, get the balloons in there right away. And then go to town. From there, from there on, the sky's the limit. You will just be able to get all the resources you can possibly imagine by using those balloons and those minions. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we actually got another video coming out that I'm going to voice over right now. We're, 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 I'm doing a too easy road trip video. We're in another clan. They're awesome. They have 303 wins or something like that. So look forward to that. That will probably be out a little later on this evening. So if you're still watching, appreciate you guys. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.